So, have you ever wondered what happened to Loot Crate? Remember that subscription box that used to deliver a bunch of nerdy goodies every month? It was all the rage for a while, but then it seemed to just disappear. Let's dive into the mystery and find out if Loot Crate truly went out of business, or if it just took a different path, asterisk. Part 1. The Rise of Loot Crate Loot Crate was founded in 2012 by Chris Davis and Matthew Santoro. The idea was simple, create a subscription box filled with exclusive merchandise based on popular fandoms like Marvel, DC, and Game of Thrones. It was a concept that resonated with a huge audience of geeks and pop culture enthusiasts. The early days of Loot Crate were filled with excitement and anticipation. Each month, subscribers would eagerly await their box, hoping to find rare collectibles, limited edition apparel, and other cool items. The company quickly gained a massive following and became a cultural phenomenon. Part 2. The Challenges and Controversies However, as Loot Crate's popularity grew, so did the challenges it faced. One of the biggest issues was the quality of the merchandise. While some boxes contained high-quality items, others were filled with cheap or generic products. This led to dissatisfaction among subscribers and negative reviews. Another major problem was the company's inconsistent shipping schedule. Delays and missed deliveries became increasingly common, further eroding customer trust. Additionally, Loot Crate faced accusations of plagiarism and trademark infringement, as well as allegations of poor customer service. Part 3. The Decline and Restructuring The combination of these factors led to a significant decline in Loot Crate's subscriber base. In 2018, the company filed for bankruptcy and was acquired by Funko, a popular pop culture collectibles company. Under Funko's ownership, Loot Crate underwent a major restructuring. The company focused on improving the quality of its merchandise, streamlining its shipping process, and enhancing its customer service. Additionally, Loot Crate launched new subscription boxes based on specific fandoms, such as Star Wars and Harry Potter. Part 4. Loot Crate Today While Loot Crate may not be as popular as it once was, it has managed to survive and continue to offer its subscription boxes. The company has also expanded its product offerings to include standalone items and collectibles. So, to answer the question, did Loot Crate go out of business? Technically, no. However, it has certainly experienced significant challenges and setbacks. The company has undergone a major transformation and is now focused on providing a better experience for its subscribers. The story of Loot Crate is a cautionary tale about the risks of rapid growth and the importance of maintaining quality and customer satisfaction. While the company may have faced its share of difficulties, it has managed to adapt and survive. Only time will tell if Loot Crate can regain its former glory. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time.